Time to um, get our game on with uh, Mr. Gerard Campbell at stuff.co.nz, Game Junkie blog over there, and also Game Junkie 2.0 as well. G'day, Gerard. G'day. How are you today, Wemo? Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, we didn't, of course, talk last week. Did you get much gaming in last week? Uh, not really. We went down to Dunedin for two or three days. That was pretty cool. But uh, it's sort of a gaming drought at the moment. There's not a lot of uh, new sort of games out. I think there's two or three coming out this month, and then it'll probably start doing the pre-Chrissy rollout. That's why it's probably a good time right now to talk about hardware. And uh, yes. uh, we have talked, I think, uh, even last year about the Nintendo 3DS. This has been a long time coming, this new gadget from Nintendo. It's still not out, but it's just had a big price drop. Yeah, it is out. It came out in... Oh, does it just come out? February or March it came out, and we talked about it then, I think. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it hadn't been released yet. Sorry. We're back no, up. it's out. been out. Back the truck, back the up. truck up. Back it up. <laughs> Okay, so it's out, but it's just had a price drop, which is still um, yeah. pretty amazing. Well, it is because um, it's pretty amazing the fact that it's a four- or five-month-old piece of hardware and Nintendo have decided to drop the price price tri- quite dramatically. Now, you can get it um, in New Zealand for anywhere between 450 to 480 mm. uh, which is a lot for a handheld. Uh, but from the 12th of August, and this is from Nintendo's press release, which they sent out five days ago, yeah, uh, they're dropping the price from whatever you can get it from any retailer or online store here. They're dropping the price down to 343.99. It's a suggested retail. So you're looking at, you know, if 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 you can pick the 3DS up from a retailer for 450, you're still looking at a price drop of 100 dollars. And uh, for a for a for a Gaming piece of hardware that's you know only a few months old. That's pretty horrific price drop for a hardware manufacturer to be doing, especially you'd, this you'd feel, so early in the lifespan. Well, you'd feel pretty hard done by if you were an early adopter and, and bought it as it came out, right? Yeah, yeah, well, you would because, I mean, I think that, you know, maybe the, three, the 3DS hasn't done as well as Nintendo expected. Um you know, I think Nintendo up until now have been sort of the darling of the game world. You know, the Wii came out and it sold million loads. And, you yeah. know, the GameCube and the NES and the N64 and all those sorts of things, you know, they were brilliant consoles and products that just sold gangbusters. Mm. But now, you know, they've got a handheld which um, it was sort of untested. You know, the, the the fact that it can do three-dimensional images without glasses is pretty cool. Yep. You know, you've got to be looking straight on. So it's a... Um, pretty sort of specialised, but I just hasn't seemed to have captured on. And you were saying before, you know, you're going to feel pretty hard done by if you'd forked out the readies um, on launch. I guess that, I that's, that's the way... pain. That's the pain that early adopters always have, though, with everything, right? <laughs> well, it is, isn't yeah. it? You know, you sort of, you've got to have the latest and greatest first time, and then, you know, a few months later, there's a price drop, or, or you know, they bring out a new model that's got, it's twice the speed or whatever. But... Um, I think as a way to appease those early adopters of a 3DS, um, Nintendo is going to be offering a program called the Ambassador Program, and that's for people that have you know, bought a 3DS at the original launch price. Um, and part of that program, I think it's launching in September, maybe? Mm. Uh, so pretty soon. Uh, what they're offering is that, uh, so if you were an early adopter of the 3DS, you paid full price for it and you bought it, uh, you've got to register it and all that sort of thing. They're going to offer you uh, 10 free NES games and 10 free Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games from the Nintendo eShop. So you're okay. going to get those for free. Um, so, you know, the, the NES games, you know, it's going to be off the virtual console, off the eStore, the eShop. So it's going to be things like Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong Jr., Legend of Zelda, you know, those sorts of things. So that, in effect, I think is Nintendo's uh, way of saying, oh, you know, you paid the full price, so we're a bit sorry about that. Mm. But I also heard, you know, I read that the other day that, uh, I can't remember his name, but the head guy at Nintendo uh, is so embarrassed by the uh, lack of success of the 3DS at the moment is that he's going to take a pay cut. You know? Oh, really? That's, um, that's quite rare in the, in the corporate world, eh, that there's the guy at the top <laughs> well, <laughs> says something like that? Yeah, well, I think, it, and I mean, I mean, probably the price cut. I mean, the the it'll probably be a a small cut, but I think for a you know an executive in a big company like Nintendo, and I think you know it seems to be sort of the Japanese way of doing things, so that they, mm. they're pers- he's personally taking the 
failure so far of the system, you know, personally, um, and that he's the head of the company and it's not working. So, you know, the bot back stops with him, I guess, you know. Um, but is, isn't you know. it also that the handheld gaming market at the moment is so competitive now, particularly with smartphones, where you can buy a uh, either a free game or, a, say, a $5 game on your Android or your iPhone or similar device and have as much entertainment as, that, as you possibly would have on the Nintendo 3DS? I think that's probably part of it too. I think that the smartphones are taking a chunk out of the, you know, the dedicated handheld market. I mean, as you said, you can, you know, you can pick up, you know, games for Android phones or, or, or iPhones or whatever for, you know, a handful of dollars. Um, and you know, like just an example, the Nintendo 3DS games, like the, the best one I've seen so far is, you know, the, the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D, and that's retailing here for about $93 mm. and you know for for a handheld game that's quite a bit so yeah I think it is getting it's, it's finding the pressure hard from mobile games because you know you've got to remember that with smartphone games you know a lot of the big name publishers too are putting their big titles onto smartphones you know you're getting Rockstar who are putting things like Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars onto iPhone and that yeah. sort of thing you're getting you're getting <laughs> EA who are putting all their big titles onto the smartphones so it's turning a really competitive market, and I think that with smartphones becoming ever increasingly more powerful and more capable, mm. I think that you may find that dedicated handhelds might find a, a real battle on their heads. And it's certainly going to be interesting, I think, when the PlayStation Vita, which is Sony's new handheld, um, comes out into this year or early next year to see how that fares um, in the handheld wars, you know. So do, do Nintendo, uh, most of the Nintendo games on the Nintendo platforms, are they actually come out of Nintendo themselves? Uh, they do do a few first-party games, but there is, is support from third-party publishers. Because yeah. um, I'm just wondering what the case... model is for them, I mean, whether or not that, that Nintendo can start channeling some of their games out through smartphones. I don't know. I think that um, I've heard rumours or suggestions that Nintendo will probably start doing a bit more of a push for digital downloads uh, through the eShop and those sorts of things. Right. Which, which you know, we all hope if you're going to do something digitally, that will push the price down a wee bit. Um, but whether you know whether you're going to see eventually you're going to see Mario appearing on the 360 or the PlayStation 3, I don't know, but. You know, that may be something that the company has to look for, that perhaps their brand is starting to get diluted a wee bit. Yeah. And they need to start of thinking um, of other ways that they can actually get the brand out there. And if that's, you know, biting the bullet and suddenly having characters appear on other platforms, um, that may be something that they consider. But yeah, I certainly think uh, Nintendo's sort of struggling at the moment, and it's going to be interesting to see sort of where it can go from here, because the Wii sales have dropped as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, that makes so, sense know, with the Kinect coming out and, and the PlayStation Move. Yeah, but, you know, maybe Nintendo's sort of been the darling for so long, especially for casual gaming, that maybe it's just sort of starting to sort of decline a wee bit. I don't know. Could we it's see it? interesting, anyway. We might be witnessing the falling of the Nintendo empire. Game junkie Jiro Campbell, thanks very much for your time. And uh, no we will see you same time next week. Go and find him on the stuff.co.nz technology section there or search for Game Junkie 2.0. You'll find his other blog as well.